What you see in front is a Super Nintendo controller. I'm going to show you how to clean it by disassembling it. First off, we're going to go ahead and turn it around. This is what kind of screwdriver you need with this little point. And you're going to see these little four holes. You want to get unscrew every screw that's in those little four holes. And, and I'm going to show you how it's done. You start off this. Uh, this is how you unscrew it. You gotta t so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a jump cut. Okay, I got the back part of the controller removed. This is what the back housing should look like. Which we know if if we ever worked on it at SNES. You want to go ahead and start taking this loose. You want to be very careful. You want to start by taking these little shoulders out gently. And there's another screw that's kind of pretty much keeping us from taking the controller out. But I'm going to get that loose and I'm going to have to put this down for a moment. Or I could probably get it. Cause this probably needs to be glued back on because it's it broke off somehow so, so this is what the circuit board of the SNES controller looked like and I'm going to show you how to clean that but we're going to go ahead and start taking these loose so we can start scrubbing these down and you can tell there's a lot of dirt and grime from age so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning it with, my, with a little small to old toothbrush I have and an old wet rag so let me go ahead and, and get it going okay now we got all that cleaned up I just gently took a wash rag and took the rubbers and off of here and um kinda scrubbed it gently you have to be very careful because these are very delicate, but not really delicate, but just be gentle with them because these are older, con old controllers. And they even got little special pe places where you can put different colored buttons, like there's one for yellow, red, green, and blue. But that's like for the European, the European version and the Japanese version of the Super Nintendo. And I had to take a little toothbrush and scrub between the little start and select buttons. But the next thing we're going to work on is this little piece, this little circuit board here. But, oops, it's trying to get away from me, but I don't want that to happen. And this one I had to replace the cord on it. Put a nicer cord, took the one that was all beat up. But if you're going to take a, the cord off, you're going to need to get a little flat screwdriver and be very careful taking these off. Because if you be too rough with it, you'll because a lot of these will break, so you want to keep that in mind. Okay, I got this already cleaned up, but you can easily clean this with a little with some paper towels. Just use one sheet of paper towels and a little bit of glass cleaner on your paper towel, and you just do it in circular motion. And be very careful. And if you're doing, and I did also did the um, shoulders on the circuit board for the controller, but you want to be very careful doing the shoulders because you don't want to break the soldering off of them. You can tell these are soldered on. And another way you can clean it is a pretty risky method using rubbing alcohol, which usually helps get some of the gunk out. You just want to let it sit for a few minutes if you're doing it with rubbing alcohol because a lot of people take the risk of doing it with the rubbing alcohol which some people aren't afraid and I just take a wet cloth and um, clean around the housing while you're letting that sit for a while then we're going to show you a little test that it's working so 
Let me go ahead and pr pr once get everything si situated, let everything dry, and and I'll reassemble it, and we'll be good to go. And I'm going to show you a test that it's working after. Okay, since I got the controller back in, let's go ahead and fire the Super Nintendo on. While I'm going to have the controller right here. In three, two, one, smoke test! No, I'm kidding. That's what happens when you watch some UXW Bill videos. I kind of got that from watching UXW Bill. I wanted to see what... Start button seems responsive. You have to test all the buttons. I'm going to go to a random level. It's hard to do it with one hand. Down button works. Up button. Left. That's working. Let's try it with a generic level. Yeah. Try with Yoshi. <laughs> yep, seems pretty responsive. So, let me go ahead and shut it down and seems to be successful I'm gonna go ahead and see if it needs to be tightened up and we should be good to go and hope this video was helpful on this little quick guide to get your clean out your um, Super Nintendo controller and thanks for watching